In the last project, we quickly got an LED flashing every twice a second using the RTC. What we'd like to do now is explore in a little bit more detail uh, what happens in the project startup and what is in the different files in an Atmel Start project for AVR. So here's a project I've pulled in from Atmel Start. And um, here we can see that there's just a number of files. Um, main, driver ISR, atmel start.ch and C. And I just wanted to note back in atmel start that I also am able to view code here. So um, here I'm able to get an overview of the project directly within start. Okay, so let's just take you through some of the file structure here. So we have main, we have a start init of G. Um, to go to a definition and we can see that that is just this file here also in the root and that just calls the system init for now and we're not doing much in the project but system init comes in and we can see that we have set up the pins user LED is set up as an output and our user button is set up as an input uh, without a pull-up resistor and if we click on RTC init G we can see how we have configured this peripheral. So we have all the different registers in the peripheral and we have um, bit fields um, with enumerators, very easily readable to understand um, directly in compiled code how the peripheral has been set up. But we also have um, comments to make it even more explicit exactly how the peripheral has been set up. So if you've written a lot of AVR code yourself, this is probably the boring stuff um, that you're quite happy to have start generate for you so you can get straight into your application, which is exactly what we're going to do. So starting with main, we can use some of the studio features, um, if else. And what I'm going to do is use a function called um, at, well, a file at mail start pins dot h, and what I'm going to do is look for my user button uh, get level. So I'm going to get the level of a button, and if it's equal to zero, if it's equal to zero, I'm going to turn on my LED. So that's when I push the button. So now pins user LED, set level, true, on, okay, before trying to run a debug, we click on the tool, select um, the tool that we're going to be using. Um, now I'm just going to plug in my kit with 3817 and you can see it's now connected and what also comes up is this start page. Um, now here I can click on technical documentation and scrolling down I can see a PDF for the kit user guide and a folder which will I will be able to use to find the kit, kit schematics that I have been referencing to. Okay, um, so now we should be good to go and I can click on start without debugging which will program the part. I do that and I'm able to push my button and the LED comes on.